In this video, we're going to look at two types of variation. The first is going to be a direct variation. A direct variation is one value goes up, the other value goes up. You can see towards the bottom of the slide that there's an equation that we're going to use for a direct variation that states y is equal to k multiplied by x. Our first example says that the power p of the gear varies directly with the radius r of the gear. Find the constant of proportionality if p equals 300 when r is equal to 50. The equation we're going to use is right here, y is equal to k times x. You're going to notice in this question we don't have x's and y's, we have p's and r's. It does say here that p varies directly with r. So p is going to be equal to our k value multiplied by our r value. If we take the numbers and we plug them in, P is equal to 300 when R is equal to 50. For us to find our constant, we just have to divide both sides by 50, and we're going to get that K is going to be equal to 6. Our second example says that in a factory, the profit P varies directly with the inventory I. If P is equal to 100 when I is equal to 20, we find P when I is equal to 50. Once again, it says that P varies directly with I. Therefore, P is going to be equal to our constant K multiplied by I. The profit's equal to 100, so we're going to put 100 in for P, and we're going to put 20 in for I. To solve for K, we divide both sides by 20, and we get that K is going to be equal to 5. Once we have that constant, we can go ahead and use it. We are asked to find the value of P when our value of I is equal to 50. So P is going to be equal to, we can reuse our value for our constant. So P is going to be equal to that constant 5 multiplied by our new value of I, which was 50. If we multiply these two things together, we get that P is going to be equal to 250. Now, a couple things that are important with a direct variation. As profit goes up, inventory goes up. Our value of P went from 100 when I was equal to 20 to P being 50. Since our value of i went from 20 to 50, since that value increased, it makes sense that our value of p should increase as well. You'll see that it went from 100 to 250. The second type of variation we're going to look at is going to be an inverse variation. An inverse variation is when one value goes up, the other goes down. Uh, the equation is similar, but it's a little bit different. It says that x times y is equal to k. k is still that same constant of proportionality, but our inverse variation is set up a little bit different. Our first example says the number of hours each it takes for a block of ice to melt varies inversely as the temperature T. If it takes two hours for a square inch of ice to melt at 65 degrees, find the constant of proportionality. Once again, as soon as I read the question, I notice that it mentions an inverse variation. An inverse variation, we go to x times y is equal to k. Now in this case, again, we don't have x's and y's, we have h's and t's. But I can say that h multiplied by t is equal to k. I read through the question, it says it takes two hours for a square inch of ice to melt at 65 degrees. Two goes in for h, 65 goes in for t, we multiply them together and we get our constant, which is going to be 130. Our second example is similar, but once we find our constant, we're going to use it to find our value of z. And here again it says a formula z varies inversely as p. Inverse variation, we go to x times y is equal to k. Once again, we have z's and p's, so I would say that z multiplied by p is equal to k. I take a look at my numbers, it says that z is 200, when p is equal to 4. Multiplying them together, I get my constant, which is going to be 800. Now that I know the value of my constant, I can use it to find my value of z. It says to find z when p is 10, so z is going to be equal to is what we're looking for. And we know we're going to go back to z multiplied by p is equal to k. I can now say that z is going to be equal to, uh, I take my value of p and plug it in, which is 10. Take my constant, which I got from earlier in the question, plug it in, divide both sides by 10, and I can get that z is going to be equal to 80. As we said, there are two different equations we're going to use. The first is for a direct variation. With a direct variation, our equation is going to be y is equal to k multiplied by x. For an inverse variation, 
Bracket equation is a little bit different. It's x times y is equal to k.